say previously published and you're talking about pages. Mm -hmm. So um, are you talking about the same ideas or the way those ideas are written word for word? Like that shouldn't be the same, but different presentations of those ideas. We're talking about explicit word-for-word -word reprint. So of course your work is going to be dealing with similar ideas. You know, if you were restrained from republishing anything on the sort of that, that vague or, uh, range, you'd never be able to publish anything. <laughs> but so you got one shot at it and away you go. No, that's not the case. We're talking specifically about word-for-word um, -word reprints. Things with little or no revision. And, yeah. you know, if, you've, if you've essentially presented the same argument, mm -hmm. the same thing mm -hmm. before, then so you'll often notice in, in the acknowledgments page or the, the, the copyright page of a book, you know, it'll say chapter seven, reprinted from, you know, in a slightly revised version from Journal X and, and give, the, give the citation. Um, that's what we're talking about. Because so. obviously there are some scholars who will specialize in one area or perhaps one mm -hmm. figure, you know, for their whole career. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of finding a lot of different things to say about that over yeah. the course of your career. Yeah. That's something to talk to an editor about. Um, t so, you know, we might be able to help give you, provide you with some guidance for suitable revisions to sort of carry you from that area of reprint into into original material or, or sufficient revision enough that it, it's considered original original material. Um, so, so keep that in the back of your mind. Important information to include on your prospectus so that you can have that conversation earlier in the process.